Hey guys, it is Michelle. Today we are going to be showing you my candle holder collection. Now this is the majority of them. Um, there are some that I have for holidays that are packed away and I didn't include things like this kind of a candle holder because it's kind of, um, I mean who really wants to see these? If you do though, if you want to see like the plain ones that really aren't that exciting, let me know in the comment section. This one I actually don't even use for candles. I use this as a coaster um, in my bedroom like when I'm doing like housework or folding laundry and stuff I use this as a coaster just because it has this little nice edging on it and I don't have to worry about condensation getting all over um, my furniture um, but yeah what an interesting explanation but anyway um, so these are the more intricate interesting pieces that I own um, that I thought you would find interesting as well so oh, let me get some money in my CDC here we'll start with this piece first uh, which I'm back and forth on if I'm going to keep it or if I'm just going to repaint it. So this was given me by my mom. It was something that they no longer used. I had to clean this out because this was covered in wax. They just put the candle in there and let it, it, it made it really nasty. But this part is removable and I was able to clean her up pretty good. Um, there is some pitting in the glass, but that happens. This is like one of those things I think you get at like TJ Maxx or something like that. I'm not sure entirely she got it. But the patina, or the false patina that was supposed to have a gold tint to it, has turned into more of a brown. And it's kind of given it more of a ghoulish look, in my opinion. It's this cute little cherub thing. Which I love the way it looks, but I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this anymore. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Before I decide to, to part or redo it. I'm not, I might redo it in, like another, like in a different color, or just redo the paint job itself. I'm not entirely sure. It's stamped 2001, so it's 20 years old, but it's still really nice, or if I should just keep it the way it is. Um, for now, I've been keeping it up here. Like, I think it does look cute, but I don't know. What do you think? Because sometimes I think with the, my motif that it doesn't really fit, but I guess it could fit an ocean theme thing, but whatever. So that's the first one. Um, I guess I'll start with the ones I have over here. So these are more my fall-ish ones. So the first one I am going to show you is this. This is a little sparkly fox. I believe I got this one last year. This is from Bath and Body Works. I have a huge obsession with their candle holders. It's a problem. I think the majority of the ones you're going to see are from them and I really need to stop purchasing them. Um, I stopped buying the little metal tin ones. I, I like using these ones instead. So this one I use more in the fall. I just think it's absolutely adorable. Definitely a mood setter. Super cute. And you guys know I love foxes. That's my last name, Dixina. Little Dixon. This next one I used for Christmas. Obviously, you can see there's a little bunny here. There's a little squirrel. This is also a Bath and Body Works one. But the Yankee Candle ones will fit in these as well. Um, and the main reason why I got it is this cute little fox right here. All sparkly and adorable. And the background are these beautiful trees. It's very, very cute. Um, the, these tree, I normally use this with a Yankee candle because they sit taller just because these bother me with, you know, the flame. Oh, I hope it don't run out of battery, my guys, because it's blinking. I'm trying to make this quick. Um, the next one that I have to show you is this. This is from Yankee Candle. It's a votive holder. Um, the votive part has come undone, but that's okay. It still works. I love this because you rarely see female, um, gnomes, or when you do, they... I don't know, they don't always look the nicest, but I love this. This reminds me of David the Gnome, if you guys remember that show from the 90s. It's super cute, and I really loved this collection, um, but they're kind of hard to find. I have another piece from this collection, but that was the votive holder. The next one from that collection, this one actually has a thing that hangs here for an oil diffuser, and you put the votive down here. I just use it as a display piece because I think it's super cute. You have the two gnomes. I should put like a fake plant or something in there. I think that would look cute or a fake succulent or something. Maybe like little apples. But I love this piece. It needs to get dusted. But this is also from Yankee Candle. I really love this collection. I should have gotten the rest of it but you know money can be tight so it's old. I don't remember even how long ago I, re I bought that. The next one I will show you that I got is this little tea light votive holder. It says couture and fashion. It's got different uh, ladies in different fashion on it. 
I got I won this off of Listia a long, long time ago. Um, but I absolutely love it. I still I use it to hold like my Palo Santo and my little so my incense. Um, the next one I'll show you is this. Which if you're on my Instagram, you've seen this guy already. So this is one of my um, Windstone Edition pieces. This is my, um, this isn't Batwing, my, my bird winged cat. In the back is, I've never used this, um, not this one. I've put lights in him before, but I don't want to destroy that. Uh, I'll show you in a minute because I do have a piece with a destroyed one. And his eyes will glow when he's lit up. He's very heavy stone. I absolutely love him. I love Windstone Editions. Um, as you guys know, I haven't shown off my Windstone Dragon Collection in a while. If you want to see it, let me know. And we can do that. But I love him. He is just so beautiful. Um, I just... I haven't bought a new piece in a long time. I looked at their website now and a lot of the pieces are sold out. Or I don't even know if Windstone really creates pieces anymore, to be honest with you. This was my first Windstone Edition candle piece, and you'll see I've had this since I was a teenager. It actually broke from the heat, and I was actually surprised. This wasn't lit very long when that happened. Um, so, and there's also a match, I think, in there from like when I was 14 or 15. I don't know why, but it's there. So, don't judge me. I don't do that shit anymore. Um, I literally have had this thing since I was like 14 years old, so it's old. But I haven't really used this since, but this is him, this gorgeous white dragon with the blue eyes and his little stone. They light up when they are lit. Um, I don't use him. I use him as a display piece just because I don't want to have to clean the soot off of this one. With the cat, it's a little bit different just because of the coloring. But um, with this guy, it would be very hard to get off and you shouldn't be submerging your windstones. I do love that one. Next one I'll show you is, this is another Yankee candle, and this came out quite some time ago. I'm not sure the year it came out, but this was part of one of their um, Halloween lines. This is a steampunk votive holder. I do not use it for candles. I use this to hold some of my makeup brushes. The ones, the ones I use on an everyday basis will go in here, um, just because like the perfect size for my makeup brushes. So if you have things that you don't normally use on a daily, you can repurpose them. Like Don't just let them sit and collect dust. So. This guy gets used for my makeup holder, and I think it's so cute. I always get compliments when people see it on my counter. Oh my god, where'd you get that makeup brush holder? It's not. It's just a really cool candle holder. I have used it, and I will sometimes use it during Halloween. But um, I love steampunk, and this is just adorable. It was it was perfect. I didn't. It was ten bucks. I think I had a coupon for it, but I love this piece so much. Um, next is one of my um another bath and body works candle holder a lot of these are from bath and body works so this is one of my christmas ones it is a snow glow which is so cool this is the first one you can see the water starting to get cloudy it's that old i'm a little nervous because can you hear that it's very very thin what i don't like is that when you put the candle it is glued on the idea behind this is awesome, but over time from a heat of a candle, even though this is a thick base, I worry that this is going to crack and make a huge mess one day. Um, so I don't typically use these with a lit candle anymore. I do display them and I do have them out during the Christmas season, but because just knowing with the way that glue is and over time, it does make me nervous, but I do think it's absolutely adorable. I don't know if you can see in the snow but there's actual like pieces of glitter that look like little snowflakes in there probably not but this one is a polar bear and a little penguin they made a couple of these over the years i didn't see one last year but i do like those and i do put them out for the holiday season the second one that i have this one ended up chipping on me there was a the there was a candle head on top of it, it exploded, and it hit against the wall and then ended up chipping this. Could have been a lot worse. Um, that's why you never leave a candle unattended. You always gotta make sure that you're nearby. This one is also a um, snow globe. And you have a snowman in the front. And you have this reindeer in the back. It's supposed to be a gingerbread house. 
it's super cute I do like the silver better but we got this little mark I do have the little piece available I got to put that on there um, but it is super cute but again I worry about the integrity of these over the long haul um, but I do love them they're super pretty I think there was one more of these that were created that I do not own um, but you can tell by looking I'll show you the water is cloudy in this one compared I don't know if you can tell you can kind of tell the water is cloudier in this one than that one but it's still cute I'm not gonna part with it just because it's getting old I still like it we are running out of time guys so I am going to do a part two for the last few items because these ones are really cool and are some of my favorites so I'll be right back guys